Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video I'm going to be showing my massive spotlight fabric haul. I got so much fabric here. Uh, it was mostly clearance stuff as well. Uh, after one of my markets, I think last weekend or the weekend before, I just went crazy and purchased a heap of stuff. Oh, two massive bags full. <laughs> so heavy. Uh, I have no idea how many meters there is. I think there would be over 100 easily though because I got a heap of rolls um, and a heap like this one was 10 meters just by itself. So yeah, there's there's a lot of fabric here. I guess we'll start off with this one because it's on top. <laughs> but this is going to be one of my new XL fabrics. It is so pretty. Perfect. Coming to summer light colors and everything. Um, so yeah, I got 10 meters of that, and yeah, I reckon I'll be doing XLs out of that specific fabric. This one wasn't on clearance, but someone had asked me for sunflowers ages ago, so I did purchase that one. So it's like a sunflower pattern. This one I already have, um, I call it Vashti, Vashti Fade, uh, but yeah, that's like a nice little pink florally one. I got so much of this one. I have a very similar print already in the XLs, but I'm almost out of it, and that's Camellia. I'm thinking I will, yeah, put this one up as well. It's a crepey material. I think it's crepe brown. I got so much of this material as well. I think I got the whole bolt of it. I did also grab uh, quite a handful of more bolts and the tubes as well so I can roll the ones that I've got heaps of back on there because it was so busy in there I just said do that because it takes too long to roll back on for the spotlight worker so I just said give me the give me them to just go with and I'll do it when I get home I got more ivory satin which is the deluxe satin I do have some still left up here but I was running quite low on it and it's been so popular. I got a heap of white. So that's just the white deluxe satin as well. I didn't really have a lot of this. I only had like maybe a meter left. So I think I got probably five meters of that one. A lot of these fabrics are a surprise to me because I haven't looked at these for probably two weeks now. <laughs> this one was such a cute one. It says like succulents. I thought that was really sweet. This one I already have. More blue floral print. It's Holy cotton, I believe. I also have this one already as well, but that's been really popular at markets with the kids. And I haven't got anything really with mermaid, so I was really happy to find mermaid print. It's quite a hard sort of cotton though. Let me see if it has what it is. It doesn't have what it exactly is, but it is much harder than the usual cottons I get. That is very cute as well. So a lot of these fabrics, I just got whatever was left on the roll. Got this one. So this will be a XL print as well. Nice pink roses. We got another poly cotton one. So that's another pink with like roses on it. So these ones here are rayon. So we got a nice green print. That makes such a nice dress as well. I wanna start making some of my own clothes, but I just don't have the time. Possibly next year, hopefully, but. Cause some of these are so pretty look at that one so that's another rayon and it's just blue with purples and violet colors in there and i already have this one but i was running really low on it so i'm really happy to have found it i got so much uh that one's heather on my website and that was just a rayon as well it's a beautiful green color here's another poly cotton it's got like a black background to that one so I thought that was a bit different. I've already got this one as well. I'm pretty sure it's called Boyfriend on my website. And it's just like a flannel sort of material. Sounds more for winter, but I thought might as well grab a heap of it because it was so cheap. Okay, next bag. <laughs> I was super happy to find this one. So this, this one I already have, but it's not available on the website yet. And I've been using it for advent calendars and I was running super low. So I was a bit sad I wouldn't be able to put it on the website because it is such a nice print, like navy with all the florals. And it's also a uh, pinwheel cord too. So it's like a stiffer one. And I managed to get a couple meters of that one. Got some unicorn rainbows. So again, really popular at the markets with the kids. This one I also already have. Let me see. I do have quite a bit of this one. 
but I thought it'd be nice to get more. Cause I, it was only, I think, two or three dollars a meter. So I just thought, why not? <laughs> I can always resell it, but not that I do stash my fabrics anyway, but if I did, I could. This one, so this one's a poplin. So it's really nice navy color with all these bright colored flowers. I got quite a few meters of that one. These are both poly cottons. So we've got this print or florals and more pink florals. I found I haven't got many pink fabrics anymore. Uh, they must just be really popular and I haven't been able to get more of it in. So any of the pink flowers I found, I sort of tried to get as much as I could. So we've got some pineapples. This one is quite a large print, but I thought it would work pretty well anyway. It's a poplin. So it is a bit larger than the other uh, fruit ones I have. But pineapples have been, like pineapples have always been popular ever since I started my business only eight years ago. Pineapples have always been the in thing and cactuses, they're still trending. <laughs> I thought they would have been gone well and truly by now, but I still get people asking me, I, am I going to restock pineapple stuff? Am I going to get more cactuses in? So here they are. I've got a couple more. This one is so bright. It's it's very bright. It's a a little bee one with like rabbits or bunnies. I thought that'd be really good for Easter coming up. And it's also got like these little sparkles, speckles through through them. So I did get a couple meters of that one. Just thought with Easter coming around the corner, it's gonna be here in no time so I thought I'd get some more rabbit ones because I don't really have many left. I haven't really done a massive restock for the Easter sort of stuff that I have. I think this must be linen or maybe I don't think this one says either. It feels like linen but it might be there is a fabric that feels like linen but isn't linen it's actually full of like polyester but there's this one. Again I think this one will be really good for XL scrunchies especially because of the such big roses. You're so pretty. So this one's another large print, but it's got avocados on there. What's really popular at the moment at Marcus is the avocados and watermelons. So it's more like at the markets, I find that sort of stuff goes really well and like the kids end of kids prints. Whereas online, it's more the subtle things, <laughs> the things that aren't like this. But I mean, they still do sell online sometimes, but yeah, mostly at markets, this is the sort of stuff that sells, a bit more quirky. The other avocado print I have in stock, that's like a, that has a pink background, whereas this one has black. So it'll be interesting to see if that one, how that one sells. This one is not my cup of tea, <laughs> but I thought it's leopard print and it's rainbows. There'll be so many kids that love this one. It also has like chunks of specks through there. I reckon that's gonna be such a good seller at the markets. I don't think I'll put this one up online and I'll tell you why in a moment. I'm almost finished this collection, but yeah, I'm not too sure about that. This one is an alpaca one, again, with like little specks all through it, like little glitter. But this one's also a pretty large print, as you can see. I did have this one in a smaller print and it was perfect for bows, but I think this one would be okay for scrunchies. And I got another flannel one. I really didn't need more flannel, but here we are. Got this lovely rose colored one. I think it's a rayon, but it's a little bit thicker than a rayon, uh, the, the normal rayon that I get from Spotlight. But I have had this specific color before. I wonder if that's the same as Marie. I reckon that's the same. So I've already got that in green. I only just ordered more of that one as well. Oh, it was a while ago now. It was like nearly three, four weeks ago now. And I only just got it. I didn't ship it for ages. It was probably two or three weeks since I ordered it. And then it finally shipped. And it like got collected like from Spotlight. It's really pretty. I'll also go grab my other bag of fabrics. Mostly just satins, but I actually don't know what's in there anymore. I bought that one maybe a week before I got these. Maybe a week and a half. So I'll grab that as well. Oh, it's over here. <laughs> I also just went and got this parcel of the car. Ugh. So these I've been waiting on for so long. Luckily I wasn't in any rush. Now I've got Marie back again. 
And this beautiful one, I mentioned in my last vlog, uh, when I was going through all my gingham fabrics, I have so many of those, but I sort of already showed it in my last vlog, so I won't show them here. But this is the one I was talking about. It's got little specks all through it, and it's all colourful. So pretty. That'll be really popular. I think another one. This one I just pretty much purchased fabrics that I needed to restock. So you've already seen a lot of these. I've got satin. So that one's uh, latte. Well, these are the colours I call it. Navy. That one's pretty obvious. <laughs> They're so slippery. Uh, I got more white satin, but I didn't get as much. So that's why I got even more with the other lot that I got. Bronze. I only had like a meter of that one left, so I wanted to get a heap more. And black. I was very low on the black satin. Thought I'd get a heap more of that. It's been really popular. I also got these remnants. What have we got in here? So we got a rayon. Which is like a quite dark colour. This one's just not very good satin. It's not the deluxe stuff anyway. Oh, this has been really popular but there was only a metre left at the spotlight store that I went to. And then when I went to a different spotlight store, it wasn't on sale. This was 50% off but I went to the other spotlight store, it was full price. I'm like, I'm not paying that. <laughs> Especially when I know there'll be... Uh, it was only two days difference too. So I got that one. It's been really popular as bows and scrunchies at markets. So the first ones to go. That one's a cheesecloth sort of one in a royal blue colour. That one's another satin, but it's just the Semco satin, so it's not the best. This one was really nice. So this one's a rayon satin. It's wrapped so nicely. <laughs> I'm glad they did that rather than trying to staple holes into it. Oh, this is so nice. This would be so, so cute as a top. It will hold the top. Anyway, <laughs> so that's that one. So it's a rayon satin material. It's beautiful. I think I would make this into XL scrunchies because it's, it's a bit more dense than other scrunchy materials that I have. Before I end the video, I think I'm gonna ro roll up some of these on the boards. So if you wanna watch that, it's gonna be coming up. <laughs> Otherwise you can skip right to the end. And I'm gonna just speed it up, me rolling all these on. Not all of them actually, just a couple that are on the big boards, not the small ones, because I don't actually have room for the small ones right now. Unless I make another row, like a, which I might have to do later on. But I'm not going to do it right now.
So that's pretty much all the fabrics in my haul. I know it doesn't seem like, I mean it is a lot of fabrics, so it's not a lot of different fabrics. I mean it's still a lot of fabrics. <laughs> anyway, so next year my plan is to cull a heap of fabrics because I do have way too many. So I'm going to clearance out a heap of different fabric ranges and just so many. So many, so many. I have my eyes on a heap of them that I just don't want to sell anymore. So they will be going on clearance start of next year. Probably won't be until March though because I think January is just going to be so big for me. Being my 8th birthday, bringing in the merch, bringing in... Probably going to upload a heap of these maybe. I don't know. It's just it's going to be a lot going on. So I don't think it's going to be the appropriate time to do the clearance sale. Yeah, there's just, there's just so many. I just, yeah, too many at the moment. Because I, I keep buying more. <laughs> there just needs to be more. So I need to start getting rid of some of these older fabrics that don't sell very well. Try and clearance them out. If they don't clearance out, I might end up selling them as scraps or something on one of my D-Stash sites. Possibly. I don't know. Yeah, that's all for this video. It's just a short one just to show you what I've got. I hope you guys liked all of these fabrics. Comment below what was your favourite one out of all these. I hope to see you guys next time. I have heaps more vlogs coming up and I want to do some more DIY tutorials. But it's just so hard to find the time right now. Hopefully next year, start next year, it's going to be a little bit more quiet for me so I can start filming more stuff for YouTube because I really enjoy it. Anywho, I do hope you guys enjoyed this one and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye!